Hey, good day everyone. You got Lila Sasha over here. How's everyone doing? It is Saturday, June 29th in the evening. It's Canada Day, long weekend up here. It's going to be a hectic weekend, going to be a good weekend. So I figured I'd better try to get a shave in for you guys today and hopefully maybe I can get one in on Canada Day too, but I'm not sure. So today I'm going to my brother-in-law's bachelor party or stag, whatever you want to call it. That's why I figured I want to, I want to stink nice. We're going to use some Razor Rock Emperor, obviously their take, their take on Aventus. That is a tallow soap, by the way. We're going to be using the Emperor Matching Splash. Blend it all off with a little bit of Aventus itself. Then whip up the lather today. I decided I want to use my Frugal Shave. 24 millimeter blood knot and lightsaber handle brush. And I haven't used one of these off camera in a while, so I wanted to use it again. I'm going to use my straight 7 8 R Sutcliffe. It was a full, it was a wedge, I think it's a near wedge now after it's been restored. Beautiful razor. All right, so let's get this going. Ooh, so much more mess I can make here today. A very nice scent on this razor rock soap. My biggest problem with this soap, to my sniffer, it's extremely weak. My wife disagrees, but I don't think it's strong enough. Yeah, I'm moving right off the puck today. I know I don't do that too often. Um, I don't use my razor rock soaps that often anymore. But uh, really all I have left anymore is Emperor, Triple X, Dead Sea, I think that's it. Good soaps. They do a heck of a good job, right? And lots of people, I've, I've heard hate, I heard guys just rag on Razor Rock. I'm like, whatever. Does the job, get some good sense, some good value. Gets people into this at a lot, uh, into our little hobby at a much more affordable price range, price point. I think it's a good product. Is there better? Yeah. Is this crap? No. All right. Probably more than enough on there. So I'm going to wet up the face and get the lather going here. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All lathered up, pretty easy to do. Full face lather, got a little thin in some points, maybe here places, but uh, see how this goes, you know? Nice shave, why not? So. I forgot to mention, I've got, uh, I'd be 12, 24, 12, 33 hours of the growth. <laughs> it's about 5.30 here, and the last time I shaved was yesterday at 7 a.m., so. Hope everyone's been having a great weekend, a great Saturday. If you're having to work, I'm sorry. I've been there many times. This helps do exactly what I needed to do. No issue with the slickness on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I hope your Saturday's going good. I've been working in the yard pretty much all day. I went out 
party in the last night with uh, my other brother-in-law. I had some good laughs at, at uh, a high impact live wrestling match. That was hilarious. I went, I went to a couple pubs after, so I got home a little late, slept in, and my father in law came over, used a truck to go out to the dump, and I've just been working in the yard ever since. A good day, it's been nice. Great temperature outside, it's beautiful, sunny. I quite enjoy being out there doing work. I don't mind the heat. I know some people do. My wife is not a huge fan of heat, so. Been a nice relaxing day. Part of the hard working, like I said, there in the yard, but enjoyable. So I hope you guys have had a good day yourselves too. So yeah, good first pass. Right, these are all come for fine good slickness. Absolutely no issues with that at all. So it's a very good value of a soap. Wish guys would stop ragging on them sometimes. I hear some guys that just freaking love to beat up on this stuff. I don't get it. Is it my top soap? Nope. Definitely don't reach for it all the time, but you can shave with it. You can shave with it very well. And typically a very good price point. So, scent is very weak though. Like I said, this is my, I don't even, don't think I even smell it anymore. And my puck is getting a little old. It's probably a couple, couple years old now. So that could be the problem too. Excuse me. I haven't eaten much today. Just some crap food. My belly's not happy. Do more crap food tonight when I go to the bar for it. <laughs> okay. We're going to move against the grain. I did want to say something here quickly about just straight razors. I'm no guru by any means. I mean, I'm still learning. I'm less than a year really getting into these things. Collected a few in a year, that's for sure. A guy asked me lately, and another couple of people actually, about the angles and that, and them tugging all the time. I'm like, okay, first of all, watch your angle. Now it's typically, I can see that, typically the spine width off your face, okay, in that area. Second is, if you're doing that right, and you're doing light pressure right, try some light strokes, small strokes, don't worry about going long strokes. Past that, if you're still not happy, you find it really tuggy, get a different edge. Now, when I first started, I had a razor piff to me. I really appreciated it. I was so happy. The edge I didn't like. Person honed it up for me, I think. I just didn't like that edge. Then I won my first weight in Butcher. Same thing. I didn't like the edge that came on that. Then I had sent all my razors in for home and tried multiple edges, and I've learned what I like. And I have that put on all my razors now, except for this one. This still hasn't, hasn't gone back in for that, but it's a good edge still. It's on it. Uh, I tend to prefer sort of a JNAT finish on it. So anyways, there's my quick straight razor advice.
Yeah, with straights, I tend to skip across the green now. I just do two passes plus a cleanup. Do quite enjoy shaving with these. It's just a quite a little bit of a different element in my mind to it. Always where I struggle with the straight. <laughs> All right. There's a fool's pass. Hmm. Got myself clean. It shouldn't have gone in like that, but oh, it's okay. Clean that up real quick. Enough. All right, let's see how this feels all around. Yeah, well, that's pretty good for two passes. Some right here. I don't know what I was expecting that. That's a uh, tougher place for me. That was just good. A little bit of weeper. I felt that. There, 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 there. Okay. So I'll do my cleanup. Uh, quickly off of the camera here. I'll get these spots done up 
and then I will do a cold water rinse, warm water rinse, the other way around. It'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It was a good two pass shave. Uh, a little bit of irritation. Uh, it burnt right in there. Of course, right there, burnt with the Allen block. Uh, this right here isn't quite BBS, but I wasn't going to chase it. It's comfortable, it's good. So, let's follow this up with the matching splash. Emperor by Razor Rock. This is an alcohol base. A very, very nice scent. I'm not going to sit here and talk about the uh, Aventa scent. Been done a million times. It's a great cologne scent. Most people consider this one of the best, or if not the best, like the king of clones. I don't know if I 100% agree with that, but I love it still. You know, I definitely think I have a slight preference for um, Silver Mountain Water, but this is still amazing. Smell like a boss. Smell like a boss. All right, let's put on a little. Aventus clone. This is what's out of the 17 X01 batch. All right, maybe more than a little. <laughs> yeah, I would enjoy that tonight. It should be a good time for the bachelor party and I should be smelling like a king. So that's a shave. Just a quick recap, guys. Razor Rock Emperor. Good soap, does the job, you know, great price point for these rock products. Don't hate on them. If you don't like them, don't worry about it. But lots of us started with lots something like this. And they get a lot, they're get way better than what people use without it, right? Can goo and that crap, man. This is miles and miles and miles and miles past that. You saw me use the Splash from Emperor. I forgot to mention again, we whipped up that lather with the frugal shave 24 millimeter blood knot and the 3D printed lightsaber handle. Slayer of choice tonight, the R. Sutcliffe 7 8 uh, near wedge now, I believe it is. It used to be a full, but it got restored. Um, double dyed Buckeye Maple custom scales, full silver wedge in there. Beautiful razor. And of course, finish it all off 100% with Ventus Cologne. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. If you're in Canada, hope you have a great Canada Day long weekend. Hope you have a great day off. Maybe I'll get out of Canada Day shave. I'm not too sure yet. Happy shaving, everyone. And we'll see you soon.